Oh, you know things are blooming early and allergies are in full effect, that's for sure. Well, Marilyn Harris is the regional clinical director of the Little Clinic. She's here to give us some relief. And all those that moved to Nashville and didn't think they had allergies are realizing they do. Yes, because we Nashville indeed. is a hotbed for allergies. Yes, we are. And we're finding, like you mentioned earlier, that is people are suffering earlier because we didn't have a real winter, it seems, and those things are blooming. And now they're having to take that medicine to try to get it under control. So how do you help people at the Little Clinic? What are some different things that people can do? Okay, one thing we do recommend is that our patients that do have allergies try to get started on your preventative medicines about a month early. So that way mm. they'll be in your system working fully by the time the season hit. Unfortunately, they may not have been able to do that early this time, but if you know you have allergies, go ahead and get started on something now, those daily things that'll be a benefit to you. Okay, and you brought some examples of things. You've got allergy medicine, but you also brought this nasal saline. Yes. That's kind of like to flush out the, you know, it, the pollens. Right, if you're out during the day and you're breathing that pollen in when you go to bed at night, before you go to bed, you need to get rid of it. So the nasal sprays can kind of cleanse the nasal passages from that. It's just this one I brought, it's just a plain saline spray without any medicines in it. So safe for all ages. Oh, good one. Did you, and should you shower as well yes. before you sleep? Yes, ma'am. Other tips would be if you're out in the day working in the yard or your job takes you outside, Make sure that you're showering all that pollen off before you go to bed in the evening. Resist the urge to drive with your windows down. You're breathing all that pollen in. If you're outside doing yard work, landscaping, or other outside activities, wear a mask when you're out there doing those things to keep that pollen from being breathed in. Mm, all right, and make sure your kids, and maybe make sure your kids are taking a shower too if they have the Definitely. allergies. Definitely, and then before. if you have puppies or pets that are outside and coming in, keep that in mind too. But if they're jumping on the couch or lying in the bed with you, then that pollen off their fur is getting on you as uh -oh. well. More cleaning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, which isn't a bad thing either, you know, getting the house all in order. What are some other ways, maybe that aren't medicine-based, that we could fight allergies or give us some relief? Well, one thing you can do, uh, we mentioned a plain saline spray that can give you some relief in that regard. Some other ones, we found that local honey from some for some people that works, and they can look into that for some other options with that. And just the things we mentioned earlier, keeping the windows up, and if you're doing your laundry, some people like to line dry this time of year, mm -hmm. not drying them out outside but using the wash the dryer inside the home so that you're not getting that pollen inside of sure, your linens yeah, and things like Sure, yeah, then you've that. got, you put your bed sheets out there right, now they're covered in, in mm -hmm. pollen. Exactly. All right, and local honey is easier to find too. You can see if it's in your neighborhood, that's a good tip. The Little Clinic, it is open seven days a week, so they're always there for you. They are right inside select Kroger stores all across Middle Tennessee. You don't need an appointment, but you can pre-register, hold your spot in line, Go to littleclinic.com. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Giving us relief already.